On November 1st, 1921, John A. Lejeune, 13th Commandant of the Marine Corps, directed that a reminder of the honorable service of the Corps be published by every command. To all Marines throughout the globe, on the birthday of the Corps. Since that day, Marines have continued to distinguish themselves on many battlefields and foreign shores, in war and peace. On this birthday of the Corps, therefore, in compliance with the will of the 13th Commandant, Article 38, United States Marine Corps Manual, edition of 1921, is republished as follows. Number one. On November 10, 1775, a Corps of Marines was created by a resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that date, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we, who are Marines, should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glories of his long and illustrious history. Number two, the record of our Corps and one which will bear comparison with that of most famous military organizations in the world's history. During 90 of the 146 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to Argonne, Americans, Marines have won foremost honors in war in the long eras of tranquility our home generation after generation of Marines have grown gray in war in both hemispheres. And in every corner of the seven seas, that our country and citizens might enjoy peace and security. Number three, in every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion, until the term Marine has come to signify all that is highest in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. Number four, the high name of distinction and soldierly repute, we who are Marines today have received from those who preceded us in the Corps. With it, we also receive from them the eternal spirit, which has eliminated our Corps from generation to generation, and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marines in every age. So long as that spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every emergency in the future, as they have been in the past, and the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the sea since founding of the Corps. The inspiring message of our 13th Commandant has left in mark the hearts and minds of all Marines. By deed and act from Guadalcanal to Iwo Jima, from Inchon to Korean Armistice, and interventions from Lebanon to the Dominican Republic, and from the opening battles in Vietnam to the Maestas rescue, Marines have continued to epitomize those whose qualities which are their legacy. The success which they have achieved in combat and the faith they have borne in peace will continue. The Commandant and our many friends have added their, their hearty praise and congratulations on this, our 239th birthday. <laughs>